Doggo! Oh, who's this? Who the hell are you? Why are you in here in my ex-girlfriend's home? Oh, the doggo's happy to see him. So, now we launch into Witch Hunt. So what we're going to do is uh, now we've done Origins, we've stopped the Blight, we put Alistair as King marrying Anora for the ultimate power couple. We've then cleared Awakening where there was some sort of unusual sentience or sapience coming to some certain uh, Darkspawn. So we've investigated that, we've cleared Dragon Age Awakening. We've now done Golems of Amgarok, which is like six months after that. Um, oh, no, sorry. Awakening is six months after Origins. I'm not sure how long... Um, I'm not sure how long Golems of Amgarok fits after Awakening. But in Origins, we uh, took up Morrigan's offer to um, for her to effectively get pregnant from uh, Warden and therefore in killing the Archdemon... Uh, the the spirit or the old god doesn't jump to the nearby warden and kill them. It jumped to, to whatever ritual thing she'd created within herself. And then, as she had promised, she promptly disappeared and no one has seen her since. We made some statements saying, Hey, Morrigan, we're going to find you. She's like, No, don't come after me. You mustn't come after me. Even though we were in love, we had such a loving, weird relationship. This is what Witch Hunt is for. So we're going to do... Uh, witch hunt now. So in this expansion, we I think go after Morrigan and I'm hoping we actually track her down and maybe get some answers. I don't know. Let's find out. See what it brings. All right. Well, we want to import our saved character from the last one. Still got blood on it from fighting the harvester. Cool. Let's go. So the way I've been playing this is the correct Flemeth canonical. Once told me that temptation lies in the forbidden. Don't go. <laughs> Do not follow me, I said. Harder words I have never spoken. Some doors should never be reopened. Is this Plymouth's old hut? Must be. That looks familiar. Good boy. Oh, who's a good boy? I'm glad you're here. I couldn't do this alone. Yeah, good doggo. We'll find we'll find Morrigan, I promise. Oh, happy bark. Very good. Oh, I need to sneeze. Sorry. All right, so we've got to name the dog again. That's weird. Well, his canonical name is actually Barkspawn, um, which is kind of a cool name, but I think as far as the lore goes, that is the actual dog's name as well. Confirm. So we got all of our abilities and stuff. Yeah, that's all looking pretty good. We could do a level up too. Let's save those points for the moment. I can get a fourth specialization? Damn, son. I don't even know which one I would use. Maybe Keeper? Shapeshift? No, not Shapeshifter. Surely not. That would be kind of fun. Shapeshifter... As bonus to constitution and armor. Mm. Let's leave it for now because we're probably not really going to use those things anyway. Yeah, cool. So we're deep in the wilds. I think back at Flemeth's hut, I'm guessing, to find some clues. Let's see what happens next. So the order in which we've been playing this content is canonically correct as well, as far as I'm aware from my research onto the wikis and Reddit. <laughs> Origins, Awakening, Golds of Agarak, and then Witch Hunt. Oh, small clearing, yeah. Well, that's where we fought Lameth before she despawned and disappeared. Go inside the hut, see if we can find some clues. See what the hell... Oh, oh who's this? Who the hell are you? Why are you in here in my ex-girlfriend's home? Yeah, girl. Not another step. What are you doing here? <sighs> Call off your hound, Shem. <sighs> All right, easy there, boy. Easy. Fine, Good dog. I'll start then. I am Ariane of the Dalish people. My keeper sent me to find Asha Belinar, the woman of many years. Ah, Flemeth. Right, I'm assuming. Um, okay, well, Flemeth is dead. Many have tried to kill Asha Belinar in the past. Ooh. Do not claim victory until a few centuries have passed with no sight of her. We thought she could help us find her daughter, Morrigan. The young witch has caused trouble for my clan. Has she oh. earned your ire as well? Okay. Um, well, I love her. They say she is beautiful, but I have never heard anyone claim she is capable of love. 
Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arlathan. We right. were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had. All legacy of our ancient magics were stripped from us. First by the Tevinter Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. And Morrigan took what little was left. How long ago was this? How do you know Morrigan stole it? One month ago, she visited our clan in the name of friendship and took great interest in our history. She okay. knew exactly what she was looking for. The keeper allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. All right, so what's so special about this book then? For almost 2,000 years, the Dalish people have been wanderers, a shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost. Save perhaps to Morrigan. Okay, so what now then? Help me. We both want Morrigan, and we can aid each other. The Book of Alluvian was reclaimed from my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures remain in the library, but they would never allow a Dalish to view them. Perhaps you will meet a different reception. Oh, well, I'm from the... I'm, I'm a mage. I'm from the Circle. I'll get us in. Masiridanus, I look forward to working with you. All right, so that's our party instantly created. Cool. I forgot what her name is. Ariane. What, oh, we got to do all of your points. Damn, what are you? A warrior. Okay. Champion. Okay. I hate having to cram some vitality. Champion. What have you got? Dual weapons. Excellent. Dual wielding rogues and warriors can crank a lot of detail. All right, so we need some more dexterity. Cool. Need to take a second to appropriately level her up. Do we need to level up Bark Spawn? Oh, we do. Damn, dude. Right, well, he's probably going to need mostly strength. Whole bunch of dexterity. Thumb constitution. Maybe a tiny bit of cunning. And mostly strength for damage, right? Ah, something like that. That'll be good enough. So he's a dog. Why can't we activate that? Yeah, we can. Click the buttons properly and you can. You doofus. Cool, and... Ariane. You need a whole bunch of dexterity for dual wielding. A whole bunch of strength for doing damage. Constitution, you can have some constitution so you can take a few hits. As a warrior, you're not sneaky and stealthy, so you can't avoid hits as easily as a rogue can. Oh, uh, what do we want to give you? Some survival for some resistances. Nope, you need more cunning. I knew there was something I missed. Oops, wrong one. You definitely don't need magic. Holy shit, you don't need magic. All right, here you go. Have some survival, some more vitality, extra stamina. Cool. You shall have dual wieldy goodness. All of... Oh, still not enough dexterity. Come on. Give her up to 50. All right, I know this can be boring. <laughs> baby floofy. Yeah, that's true. Doggo is a baby floof. A mini floof. I shall call him Mini Flutes. Turn that one off because we want some more survivability. There you go. All the dual wieldy goodness. Come on. What's this one? More? I... Oh, grr. There we go. Oh, not done that, but apparently not. I'm trying to go too fast. Have a bunch of that stuff. That should get us started. Click all the dual wield activities. Um, warrior stuff. Yep. Do some more damagely goodness, please. Don't need that one. We don't want Taunt or Threaten. Grab the Champion buffs because they will buff us. And then... What is... I don't even remember what Spirit Warrior brings. Beyond the Veil. Cloak of Mystical Energies. Evade physical attacks. Okay, that's good for tanking, I guess. Soul Brand. Or Beyond the Veil is active. Gains a moderate chance of resisting hostile spells. Fade Burst. Warrior burst with energies drawn from the other side, dealing spirit damage to all enemies nearby. Blessing of the Fade. The warrior is able to draw strength from the benevolent spirits. Or the other Fade is active, the warrior's chance of resisting. So it's a lot of tanky stuff. Eh, we want more damage dealy stuff. Guardian's tanky as well. Maybe Templar. I like Templar stuff. I think it was a Justice. Justice. Yeah, Justice. He was a spirit warrior. Yes, he was. Um, because of uh, his. his Fade, spirity fade origins. Um, so do we want her as maybe a berserker or a templar? Berserkers can do some nice damage. But I also like some of the anti-caster capabilities. Templar. Yeah, let's do templar. Because I like how they can wreck mages. Let's do that. Play. 
Let's set up her tactics. Barkspawn, you're a war dog. Hopefully that works fairly well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And Ariane, you are a scrapper. Looks like it's come up with some decent tactics. There's just going to be one self any activate rally. That's what I wanted. That buffs us. Cool. Happy days. We are set up. Let's go. So we're on the hunt for Morrigan. We've got Ariane who wants to get her book back. We've got Barkspawn who's just our awesome doggo. Um, let's examine some shit in the house, I guess. The only place in the hut not covered in a fine layer of dust is around... Around the fireplace. It looks like the fire was recently lit. Yeah, I was going to say, why is the fire going? Did she light the fire? Actually, I need to check her equipment. What has she got? Oh, yeah, that's all pretty decent. Girl's best friend, longsword. Excellent. Rain of petals. Very good. Yep, so she's geared up enough. That's cool. Uh, scope out the bed, I guess. This bed doesn't look like it's been slept in for years. Except for the recent intrusion, the whole place looks abandoned. And what's in here? The contents of this chest have long since been removed. So empty chest. No one's been here except for some reason the fire's going. All right. Out we go. Oh, why is there dark spawn here all of a sudden? And an emissary. See, this is why Ariane is a Templar. Go and smash that guy, please. Does she have a tactic for mages? Oh, she doesn't. Let's create one. Enemy. Uh, something about using attack. Using attack. No. Uh, using attack type. Using magic attack. Hit them immediately with uh, Holy Smite. Don't use cleanse aura. Oh, no, there is one up here already. The enemy nearest visible. Oh, doofus. There you go. I didn't need to do that. I was looking for the wrong icon. Well, I'll shut up then. Okay, let's go hit this guy. Um, I'll try and stun him. There we go. Yes. Emissary down. Hit the shriek. Freak down. Get the herlock. Nailed it. We are so powerful. Emissaries follow you because they they do. They love me. They want my blood magic goodness. I hate emissaries. I hate casters. They're so dangerous. That's why we always get them first. Uh, no matter how much they love us, <laughs> we hate them. Okay, so onwards, I guess. What does our journal say? Witch hunt. In search of Morrigan, you discovered the woman at Flemeth's hut was a Dalish elf, Ariane. Morrigan stole an ancient book on something called Alluvian from Ariane's clan, and now uh, uh, Ariane is hunting her down. She just you go to the Circles Library. Ah, uh, right, cool. You might be able to find out why Morrigan is interested in the Alluvian. Cool. All right, so we're off to the Mage Tower then, right? Yep, yep. Circle Tower, here we go. Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. Who's this guy? Please. Keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? Ian can be trusted. Don't worry about it. What is that supposed to mean? Most Dalish are common thieves? As you say, the Circle is glad to have you as a guest. As you can see, things are much changed from when you were last here. All right. Um, where's Gregor? Gregor is in Denerim, attending to some important business. My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. Okay. Well, I need to go to the library, please. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, you and your guests are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day. To what about other layers? I want to go to the other levels without an escort too. Solon did not want me to come here. It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. Yep. I'm sure we can chat later. All right, that's fine. So let's explore the tower for like the third. Oh, we can't open that. Oh, all the doors are locked, except for this one. Chowan. <laughs> now there's a mistake of nature if I ever saw one. Oh, he's good for a laugh if I you ever lose Jowen. You can always find him flailing about in the giant gulf and their actual consequences. <laughs> Funny how the Templars never thought of that when he ran away. Yep, we well, guys are very right about Jowen. Didn't mean to do bad things, but he always ended up doing bad things. Hey, grab whatever that was. Loot everything again. Lately, he once took on a lady pirate and three greased nugs. Between the sheets. <laughs> No, I didn't. No, I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Three greased nugs. 
Ew, lady pirate sounds cool though. <laughs> I was not. Oh, all right, a little. You have to admit, it's tempting, what? right? All these mages, so complacent, thinking they're so important. You think I need to relax? Well, ah, copping sass from the dog. Good dog, good doggo. Who's your good boy? Oh, I can't pat him. All right, Hadley, oh, Sandal. I remember you, Sandal. What's going on? Enjunkment? Sandal, what are you doing here? Enjunkment! Oh, the doggo's happy to see him. Hello, Sandal is staying at the tower for a while. The Tranquil are evaluating his enchanting abilities and learning a lot from him, surprisingly. Uh, yeah. Also, when we found him in the finale of Dragon Age Origins, it looked like he had taken out an entire room full of Darkspawn on his own. So investigate that too, please, Mr. Templar person. A junk mate. Yes. Where's Bodan, his Bodan dad? Bodan is trading in Redcliffe. If you're interested in his goods, I believe Sandal has some of them to offer you. Oh, okay, cool. Um, all right, show me what you got, Sandal. Oh, more bowels, yeah. Anything super awesome we want right now? Uh, mortal vessel, yep, we'll take that. Skill, yep. Skill book, we'll take that. Life giver. Mm, pretty cool ring, but I don't think we really need it. The rest of our runes are pretty buff, so that'll do for now. Uh, thank you very much. Let's read the book for some more bonuses. No wonder we uh, finish combat so quickly. Smash the shit out of everything because we're so buff. I can't find the book. We're doing wrong. There it is. Use that one and extra skill point. There we go. Cool. It's in the chest. Potions and dog biscuits. Anything else, Hadley? Warden? Nope. Alrighty. And that's a basement that's locked. Up the tower we go, is it? Hang on, there's another marker in the center. Gonna go this way to get to the center? No. Are we getting into the center of the thing over here? I missed a turn. Orly not. Nope. We just have to continue going through the tower and then back down again to the center. This is gonna be a long ass about way to get there. All right, fine. Lucky we can run fast with our haste buff. Look oh, here we go. I've never seen so many. I thought this was going to be the stairs up. <laughs> Forgot about the whole library section. Do anyone yet? Red Mabari. I wish I had one. They should allow pets in the tower. Don't you remember the Dragonling disaster? There's bits of Ivan still burnt onto the ceiling on the third floor. Oh. Dogs, cats, rats, owls. That sort of that dragonling does sound pretty cool though. Um, so Venom with Jarwin. Um, we did not kill Jarwin. Uh, we we released him from the prison. He also facilitated. Um, what did he do? We didn't use his blood magic to enter the fade and rescue uh, Connor, but he did hang around. And then after everything was done, we sent him back to the circle for the mages to decide what they wanted to do with him. And he was complicit. He was happy enough because he wanted to atone for all the bad things he'd done. But he's not dead. Well, we haven't killed him anyway. It's still a proper save because uh, I haven't done that yet. All right, what do we got? Indexes. Let's look at all the indexes. This is an index of books sorted alphabetically from T to Z. Waking, Nightmares, True and Torment. This book was School of Entropy. Under the Bridge. Mystical or oh, Mythical Creatures. Virulent Walking Bomb. A new edition. That's just a spell, right? School of Spirit section. Translating Elven Languages. History. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So, what are we looking for again? The Eluvian. So, E. We want index A to F. Uh, oh, none of these are listed here. All about weeds. Herbalism. Balms for protection. Unstable solutions. A catalogue of Elven relics. Artifacts section. Franny's poultice recipes. Peasantson's section. Well, none of those are useful. P to L. Adding your mind. How to prevent possession. Aid section. Geological oddities in Feralden. Geography, of course. Kindling the flame. That sounds... Oh, it's mage training. Not... Uh, not the erotic section. <laughs> Lurking Horrors of the Deep. Dangerous Beasts section. Okay. And what about this one? M to S. Raising Nugs. <laughs> Zoology section. Restorative Drafts. Potions, right? Expert Herbalism. Cool. Seeing Beyond Sight. Advanced Scrying. Ooh, rituals section. And Sword and the Staff is in the Mage Weaponry section. So does that now mean we can click stuff? None of these match what we're looking for. We can now click on all the books in here, right? Mage Weaponry. You, hound. 
You think you could sneak up on the mage over there? How high do you think he'd throw those things if he turned around and saw you looming over him? Oh, lighten up. This place is like a tomb. A few surprises would be good for them. He wants to troll the mages. <laughs> Your dog is lecturing me. Yeah, he does that. He is very lectury. He likes to get on his high horse. Can I click this? There we go. Which book would you like to examine? Staff construction for apprentices. Okay. Curious looking tablet. Hmm. Sword and the star. Or more for the athletic mage. Well, that's us. A manual on how to wield staff and sword simultaneously. Okay. So this doesn't actually help us. Just like a bit of immersion in browsing a library, is it? I don't think we can be bothered doing that. Use your fist. Mage can be caught without his staff, but never without his fists. Which book would you like? Okay, none. Nope. Items received? What did we get? Seriously, I, was, I wasn't expecting to get items. We got some runes. A barrier rune? A couple of barrier runes. Manuscript copy. All right, so maybe it is worth clicking each book. Mysterious artifacts. Let's just click all the things quickly, eh? Oops. Don't click the same thing twice. Ace and charms. Catalog of Elven relics. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. Oh, cool. Um, is this Elvish? I think so. The script is strange, but it must be. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate this. All right. Well, so far we've got some success then. You found an ancient elven tome with a chapter on Illuvian. Find some more, find some way to translate the book. What about the other stuff in this book? Scale and bone, crafting a high dragon. Recipes for crafting items off of a dragon's carcass. Okay, cool. We get anything for that? No, we don't. All right. Don't gawk. I hear they cut out your eyes for staring at the tattoos. They do not. Do. I read it somewhere. Oh, and you believe everything you read, do you? Better safe than sorry, I say. Yeah, don't upset the Dalish. Zoology. Raising nugs. Okay, care of dragons. How to breed dragons as pets. Ooh, that sounds useful. Mabari, a detailed history of the Mabari hound. Oh, hello. Oh, you like this one, do you, boy? <laughs> All right, you can have it, but just be quiet about it. Can the dog even read? Do I have to read it to the dog? All right, uh, why is a Bronto here? Speculation on why Brontos always turn up in the most unexpected places. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Micah, it's terrible what they did to him. They say he was force-fed so much lyrium, he was bleeding from the eye. brain was liquefied in his skull. Can lyrium mm. really do that? It can kill you, but... Well, you know how rumors are. Those pisses give us all a bad... Now some Templar would take it out on an innocent mage and start the cycle all over. That's no good. Quick save. Expert herbalism. Anything good in here? Any other... Restorative drafts. Recipes, yep, cool. Do we learn a recipe from it then? Uh, Inus is... Inus? Inus? Inus, I think her name was. Botanical Compendium. An enormous encyclopedia of herbs and plants. Okay, gardening through the blight. Methods for rejuvenating blighted ground. That's probably good, actually. The joy of seeds. This how to grow, grow several rare plants. All right, well, that's none of that's particularly useful to us. We did get ocean somehow. Rituals. Anything in the ritual book? Uh, seeing and beyond sight. Scrying. Does that give us anything cool? Bathing practices of the Orlesian monarchy? What? This should probably be in the foreign cultures section. Yeah. Dreamwalking. Rituals for understanding the Fade. Series of meditative rituals for mages who want to learn more about the Fade. Okay, fine. And the Holy Office of the Seekers. This heavy book is firmly locked with a Chantry seal. Scorch marks suggest that someone tried opening the book to no avail. The Elufis, elusive Seekers guard their secrets well. Well, what's the point of having a book there if you can't open it? Do we get anything from that? No, we don't. All right, so... Do you hear what's going on up in Kirkwall? Kirkwall? Anything else? We need to find something to translate we found an ancient ancient elven tome with a chapter on a living find some way to translate the book and just going upstairs we can't talk to anyone here nope we cannot go upstairs so we missed something mage weaponry artifacts herbalism rituals being back this way then or am i being dumb being dumb somehow vandal can you help enchantment no he can't see you later no quest marker to guide us hadley warden nope 
He can't help us. Guard man can't talk to him. <sighs> Unless there's something back here. What does this say on the map? This dorm. Thing in the dorms. Can I open this door? Also, apprentice dorm. Right, so we've missed something in the library. Oh, that's a boring puzzle. That again. I have a good feeling about this. That's good. I am not so sure. No lecterns. There's no other books, right? Curious artifacts. That's the one we looked about before. Rituals, expert herbalism, mage weaponry, mysterious artifacts. Do we... We've seen... We activate that. Does that activate different books? No. Is there an item we need to interact with? Does anyone watch? remember what it is we're supposed to do <laughs> find the that's about stuff we don't care about let's go to the history section that makes sense thanks venom just your comment before d to l one of these talk about history stuff translating elven languages that's what we want in the history section leave oh mythical creatures now we've got something here we can which book we like to examine well under the bridge just because it's in the list trolls and fairies very good Let's skip the elven one for the moment. Does this book have griffins on it? Oh, that could be about wardens. Now extinct griffins, because wardens used to ride griffins, right? The truth behind the stories. Explanation of creatures from superstition and legend. Oh, all right. The elven Varteral. Legends of Varteral creatures supposedly created by elven gods. Leafing through the book, you notice a section on the only recorded encounter. It appears from a company of Tevinta soldiers, only the cunning archers and magisters escape with their lives. Mythical creatures. Oh, well, that didn't help us. <laughs> I thought that, uh, rule of entropy. So we are activating more books, are we? Creation versus entropy. Strengths of, yeah, this is getting long. Let's get out of here. So we need to find the book about uh, translating something. Was there any books in here about... No, I don't even know where the history section is. School of Spirit History. There we go. So we can only activate certain things at a time. History. Which book would you like to examine? Uh, Forticum Hadab. Translated text of, of an ancient Tevinter treaty. Okay. Old son, philosopher or tyrant. An exceptionally biased history of the Kunari philosopher. Okay. Translating Elven Languages. Let's just get on with it. This should help you translate the Elven text. Take the book. Yoink. Found the volume. We can help you translate the text. Very good. So do we interact with a table or a desk or something? We gotta go to the book again. Ugh. All right. This feels a bit ass about. Anyway. Mysterious Artifacts. Which book would you like to examine? A catalogue of Elven Relics. Using the translation book, you locate the chapter on Eluvian. Oh, who let a dog in here? And what are you doing? Be careful! Be careful with what? Wait, I know you. You're the Grey Warden Mage. Yes. The hero? Yes. This is even worse. Didn't they teach you proper oh. care of antique volumes in the first year? Maker. People save the country and suddenly they think they can abuse priceless books all willy-nilly. <laughs> Look, are you familiar with this book? I've used it, but I don't know it by heart. Hmm. Browsing the chapter on the Illuvians. Hmm. No one's actually found one. You know what Illuvian is? It's old elvish for seeing glass. Mirror. Ooh. Your keeper couldn't uh, know what I want to say. What else do you know about this? Illuvian isn't just any mirror. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. That's interesting. Uh, Morrigan was obsessed with, like, a mirror. She talked about how she stole a mirror from someone and then Flemeth broke it as some sort of punishment or something, and then in order to progress our relationship with Morrigan, we found a mirror that looked similar and gave that to her, and she loved it. Could that be connected to this? Why would Morrigan be interested in that? Ah, you have a friend with a special interest. Maybe she needs to talk to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. My people crossed paths with another Dalish clan not too long ago. Two of their young hunters encountered a strange mirror in some ruins. One disappeared, the other became deathly ill. They never found the one, and the other died. They left for Reldon and traveled north to forget their sorrows. Okay, carry on. What, what became of the mirror? Shattered. Destroyed. <gasps> Why? It was corrupted by the Darkspawn. Beyond hope of recovery. They did it to protect others. Even broken, it could be used to find the others. No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. What? What do you know? This is so exciting. 
We have to get to the repository. Hadley has the key. Come on. Cool. Welcome aboard then, Finn, is it? Yes, Finn. Well, you need some leveling up too, don't you? So he's a healer. Excellent. Why don't we make you a keeper as well? Because the others are not as useful if you're doing healy stuff. Um, you just need a shit ton of magic and a shit ton of willpower. So I'm guessing Finn is our last party member as a guess. Actually have a couple of cunning points, have a bit of constitution so you're not too weak and just cast epic awesome healy spells. Uh, nope, not on that. We want survival and mana goodness and combat training. Uh, what do we want you to have? Probably, yep, we'll grab all this, those, all the healy goodness there. You've got most of the healy goodness there. Uh, what else do we want you to do? How about you grant some fiery goodness, because that's always fun. These fields here, that's probably good enough for now. That'll do for now. And tactics for you, Finn. You are a healer first and foremost, and I will occasionally use your fireballs. But self, any, make sure you've always got your flame weapons on, please, dude, because that will buff my damage. Ta da! Save. All right, cool. On to Hadley, I guess, and then into the basement or something, right? Into the